Hi, Elvis Anderson, editor of World's Best Golf Destinations. This is Golf People Places, episode one from Branson, Missouri. I'm here with Lynn Berry, queen of Branson, That's Missouri, uh, director of communications, um, officially, but queen of Branson, Missouri. <laughs> you may be wondering... Why did we launch this podcast True. here in Branson, Missouri? Are you curious to know? I am curious. Because it's our understanding that Mr. Morris, you know, he launched Brass Pro Shops in Missouri. It mm-hmm. seems to have worked well. So this is like a place to, to, to grow and to you. begin and to take off and explode and conquer and thrive. You are. What do you think? Absolutely correct. And I have been around long enough to know that when uh, Mr. Morris started back in oh, 1972 uh, and, and grew this, one Saturday morning, he ran into a guy in a red ball cap that was looking at the same business location that the Bass Pro Shops was going to move into. Mm. And that gentleman was Sam Walton. Wow. Who did Walmart. He did okay. Yeah, he did okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, it's amazing if you ever look at the Forbes, like, top 150 list, like, nine of them are Waltons. That's correct. <laughs> and they're not far. They're two and a half hours from right here. That's incredible. What? That's a, another interesting thing about America is, like, small places like this, Springfield, Missouri. Uh, what's the town in Arkansas? Bentonville. Bentonville, Arkansas, yes. that produced such yes. global, incredible companies. We'll get to Mr. Morris later. This kind of is obviously the talk of the town here in Branson, but there's so much going on here, right? Like, yeah. there's so much been going on here for quite some time. Um, what was Branson like when you, you know, first came here? I mean, as compared to now, I mean, it was, it was 1977, right? And I married a guy from these here hills. Mm-hmm. And when I arrived, we had four theaters and one ethnic restaurant. Wow. Greek. Yeah. Thank goodness, because, oh, I do love those, everything about that. <laughs> yeah. So sure enough, uh, the little downtown that you see just a few steps away from where we're staying, mm-hmm. that is the original Mayberry downtown. Right. It's um, my earliest memories of hearing about Branson were Dolly Parton. Yes, of course. I mean, that's that's yes. what I thought of, you know, yeah. when I heard about Branson. Yes. I, you know, I've been reading about Branson and trying to learn as much as I can. It seemed to me that, like, Branson was a desirable destination <laughs> 50, 60, 100 years ago just based on, you know, being here in the Ozarks and the lakes and the right. rolling hills. And it's just this natural beauty, right? That's and right. then, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, in the 60s, this music component kind of came in. And we started seeing the theaters pop up. Shows and now obviously there's so many different types of shows, and then more and more growth. I mean, just talk a little bit about the expansion of entertainment offerings through the years. Absolutely. Well, of course, back in 1959 when music first started, it was because families were coming here, and back then we took two week vacations. Right. Now we take four days, (laughs) but uh, it's truly. The way that they entertained the folks at night so that mom would let dad stay and fish another day. (laughs) And we had golf come in in about 1942. Don Gardner brought that to uh, this area. Uh, We had Hollywood stars that were coming in to float. You know, that's a canoe trip because uh, the water moves and you're floating. And they would fish and they would uh, fish for bass and trout and everything at, at varying points around here. Well, then... The Bald Knobbers were the very first musical troupe that kept them entertained. They The crowds grew, and so they moved into City Hall. And then the crowd grew, and they moved into the roller rink. And the next thing you know, they built a theater out on Highway 76, and people said, nobody will ever drive that far. And it was four miles from here. <laughs> so it was... And so that was 1967? That was around 67, yes. Right. And, and they just started to grow. In 1992, Andy Williams built the very first non-country bluegrass original Americana music um, than ever before. And, of course, Andy was an international star, radio, TV, 
And so uh, he he was very successful here and made his home here. And uh, we lost him in 2012. Mm. But his beautiful theater, which is the only theater ever featured in Architectural Digest magazine, is still right here on Highway 76. Well, what kind of shows do they have at that venue? It was, of course, a variety show, but he was most famous for his Christmas shows. And so going back and, and, you know, the sentimental journey that I've enjoyed included the Osmonds and the Lennon sisters and the Letterman and, you know, uh, just every imaginable group that was so popular in the 50s and 60s and 70s. So that's really what elevated the perception of Branson was the wide variety of entertainment. I would say there are not many people on this planet that know more about Branson, Missouri than you do. There, there can't, there's very it's, few. It, there's a few that are a little older than me. <laughs> <laughs> so when you have friends come in from out of town and they want the Branson experience, you know, what are some of the things that you offer? Well, live entertainment is always number one. Yeah. Outdoor adventure, I kind of put that at number two because it is so beautiful. Our rivers and our lakes are so crystal clear. You can catch every fish. Our lakes never freeze over. So all of that adds up to a fabulous experience. And now zip lining in the great outdoors. <laughs> you can't walk outside without running across a zip line. It's a right big, here across the lake. Big zip line destination <laughs> now. I, think. I saw, I know of two. Yes. You have the largest in Missouri, then you have the other one over at the landing, is that correct? Yeah, that is. That's uh, Parakeet Peets, and you fly across uh, what is Lake Taney Como. Right. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's Taney kind of Como, that's fun to say. And that's Taney County, Missouri. They, okay. They must have run out of names. Taney you know? Como. <laughs> so it's like an acronym almost. It is. Kind it of, really sort of. Is. It is. And well, so I forgot to tell you what the third thing is about bringing the relatives in and, and putting together a fun trip. And that is family attractions. Again, every we've got 300 go-karts parked up on Highway 76. We've got 300 go- holes of mini golf. Yeah. And uh, all of that adds up to a real three- and four-generation fun time in Branson. No doubt. And we talked about this a little bit. The culinary options are expanding. You now have a Thai restaurant. That's right. You now have two Thai That's restaurants. Right. Wow. That's right. It's yeah. like Bangkok over here. Oh, yeah. It, you have an Indian restaurant. We do. We do. Out of 248 restaurants, we have, you know, totally Asian and totally Japanese for some that really enjoy uh, a lot of the sushi stuff. And then uh, over to German and Indian and um uh, a lot of the West Coast pizza style stuff, and it's a lot of fun to watch the new ones come in because that's one of the things I enjoy is testing out a new restaurant for lunch every day. And so, and then obviously Mr. Morris has come along and completely changed the game, and I would yes. dare to say that he has transformed <laughs> us from a regional destination into a international, certainly a national destination, international destination. Some of the golf course designers that he brought in are absolute game changers. Core right. Crenshaw, right. Tom Fazio, golfers will travel all yeah. all over the world to play these new courses. I mean, what's that been like? The transformation of these uh, of of what Big Cedar Lodge is doing. It's amazing, and really, John L. Morris does all of this to give employment so that our kids will stay and live in the Ozarks instead of, you know, moving off to Dallas or out to Memphis or up to Chicago. And so he wants things to flourish here. So his investment in his life is totally invested in, in the Ozarks. And what a, a, an amazing experience for me to go down to the southern part of Taney County seemingly every year and open up a new golf course although it was more over eight years we opened up five golf courses right yeah it's my understanding that christmas is an incredible time here (laughs) i mean they're already we're at the hilton that's um, right overlooking what is this river right here that is lake taney como that is lake taney okay but it it would be the white river if the dams were not set up okay and there's a Bass Pro Shops right there across <laughs> the street. How convenient. Yeah. And then there's also this uh, this lovely train. That's right. Tell me about this train experience. The Branson Scenic Railway yeah. goes 50 miles north, 
or 50 miles south, depending on whether there's a freight train coming through. Okay. And uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful experience to go over the hills and dales and uh, enjoy a little light lunch or a nice steak dinner. And uh, at Christmas, which, by the way, did you know that Halloween is Christmas Eve in Branson? Oh, yeah, I did know that. We actually start Christmas every year on November 1st. Well, they put, they've already got the Christmas tree up That's downstairs. Right. He's running a little late. You know, <laughs> he's almost missed it. But uh, yes, we completely switch over to Christmas on November the 1st. And the Polar Express, that lovely little book, uh, is uh, that tale is told uh, each evening on uh, the Branson Scenic Railway. That's got to be a lot of fun for kids. It the, is. The train. We're at we're at the Hilton, mm-hmm. and uh, we're just a couple of blocks from Branson Landing. That's right. Where they also have a uh, Bellagio esque uh, fountain show. That's correct. Every and, hour on the hour. And they have a, a lovely steakhouse here, a fine dining experience. Yes. New to Branson. Absolutely. We've had. Uh, well, we have Guy Fieri. We have Paula Dean. Uh, those are the two newest additions, but uh, you might be talking about Saltgrass Steakhouse and or Level Two. Level Two is downstairs, yeah. and I had dinner yeah. there last night. It was exquisite, I'm so lovely glad. wine menu. The filet mignon was like butter. It was did you get fun. your own knife. Oh, I was. It was fantastic. <laughs> I did. And then there's also a fine dining component at Big Cedar Lodge. So right. Branson's getting a bit sophisticated. That's yeah, exactly correct. The chef-driven restaurants are incredible. And change seasonally. So, uh, you know, here we are in the Midwest, you know, where pork and beef are exquisitely raised close by, a lot of uh, our vegetables. Our convention center here actually has an herb garden out back. So <laughs> we're into that. <laughs> this uh, convention center is this building behind us. It's massive. <laughs> it is. It is. We're a town of 12,000 people. We see 9 million visitors a year. We hold the Mid-America Emmys here in Branson, Missouri. <laughs> nice. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> I think the true measure of a town is that if you live there and you go away for vacation and go mm-hmm. somewhere else, you don't dread going home. Not at all. Is, is that fair for you? I miss home. And uh, I always judge a place on uh, several things. Um, um, their iced tea, because I am from the South. <laughs> And I judge them on their uh, uh, their particular breakfast menu. Do they have biscuits and gravy? You know, <laughs> and they're in. But yes, and we travel extensively, my husband and I. Do you make a good biscuits and gravy? I do indeed. I'm the eldest of ten kids. We had to feed them every morning. Just between you and I, <laughs> how do you make it? Just okay. between us. Okay. First of all, only three ingredients in my biscuits. Okay. And then, and that's a Silver Dollar City recipe, which we failed to mention that Silver Dollar City is our largest attraction. It's a number one rated theme park uh, for the third year, number one rated for Christmas by USA Today, and always wins uh, hands down with their food fair out there. And then, okay, bacon grease, half bacon grease, half butter, and then the flour, and brown that flour. And then a little half and half, and you might have to thin it with milk. Put some sausage in if you want to, but it's the same recipe they have out at Big Cedar Lodge. Mm. Yeah, that sounds good. Are you I, going I, for it? I know biscuits and gravy, and I know I know what you know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's yum. <laughs> yeah, it's very good. Uh, anything you want to say on the way out about Gosh, Branson, Missouri? You know, I'm just happy that you guys came, and yeah. hope that you will come again because. You don't know what Johnny's going to do next, but it's just over the line in Arkansas, and I do know. Well, don't <laughs> don't hold don't, out on I have us. to kill you. Let's break some news here. Come on. John has the 10,000-acre Dogwood Canyon located mm. not too far from here, and he purchased an incredible bunch of land with fabulous trout stream. In, near Jasper, Arkansas. So oh, get ready an, to go visit. It's an visit outdoor lifestyle when resort. You, when you get down, when it's you come down again. It's a four-star, five-star outdoor <laughs> life. I haven't life, seen any lodging lifestyle. going up there yet, but mm. it'll be good enough when he just gets that road built in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's fabulous. And everything he does is such a detailed 
I'm sure it will be. Last thing, I would imagine you know, you've seen the growth here. You've seen expansion. You've seen just just construction and new things. You must be proud. Very proud. Very proud of the entrepreneurs in these hills. And uh, we would not be here without them. Many of them, literally, one of them started from a hole in the ground. It was a touring cave, and they built Silver Dollar City, one of the best theme parks in America. But you can read all about this at explorebranson.com. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you for having me. Awesome.